All right, I'm back with um, just a quick video on the dose response curves. Essentially, the curve response is just a graph, and it's going to show us what happens if the patient has a certain amount of dose and what, um, how much effects we will see. The dose response curves are either going to be um, have a threshold or non-threshold. And what does that mean? The non-threshold starts at zero, meaning any, any dose could see a response. So it starts at zero. A threshold has to start at a certain number. So you have to have this much dose before you start to see the response. So the, th the threshold is gonna start further along the line. Linear or nonlinear, I think are basic. Linear is a straight line, nonlinear is not. Nonlinear has a curve to it. Um, and so it's not gonna look like a straight line, it's gonna, it's gonna have a curve to it. Okay, so this is not a wild concept. I don't want you to make this difficult. If the threshold concept is hard for you, there's a YouTube video, it's on this um, 4K x-ray page. I think it's great. It's a quick hack on um, how to figure out if it has a threshold or not. And essentially he teaches you if you can draw the letter T on the point, there's a threshold. But go watch it and I think it'll make more sense for you if this concept is a little confusing. All right. So linear threshold versus linear non-threshold, they're both a straight line. One starts at a certain point and one starts at zero. Threshold and non-threshold for non-linear, same concept. Non-linear just means it has to have a curve to it. It's not a straight line. If it's a threshold, it's gonna start at a certain point. Non-threshold starts at zero. 